Okay, for this short video, I just wanted to do a quick demo of the little tool firm walker that I put together um, a few weeks ago. And I mentioned it in the podcast, um, that, or the latest podcast, um, that I was going to put this video together. So I just wanted to do this real quick for everybody. Um, so like I mentioned in the podcast, you can find the firm walker um, tool on GitHub. And you can see it here on uh, in the browser here, you know, where you want to go um, grab it. Um, but basically, I put this together to make it easier to find really cool things um, once you've extracted a the file system from a firmware file. So, I mean, it's not the end-all, be-all. I mean, it's not going to find everything you want um, right away, but it will get you started in that you don't need to do a, you know, a manual search of all the directories uh, once you've extracted the file system um, from a specific firmware file. So basically the script is just a, it's got a bunch of greps in there, um, or at least that's what initially it started off as. Um, there's, so there's things in there to search for like um, common binaries, like web servers, um, stuff like drop bear, busy box, um, Light HTTP, these are all common things that, that you'll find in firmware files a lot of times. So it's set up to find those. It's set up to find stuff like um, certificate files, um, password files like Etsy Shadow. Um, it looks for specific keywords like password or root um, throughout the file system. Now, the other thing that we've done since I introduced this, um, there's been a couple of guys who have actually introduced a few more things into this. Um, so these guys right here, they've actually added a few more um, checks in there for grepping for things um, like email address and IP addresses and URLs and things like that. Um, they've also extended it um, rather than having each um, thing you want to search for as a grep command inside the script. They've actually made it where there's a data directory. Once you download this, there's a data directory that basically just has some uh, text files in there that you can basically put your search items in there. Um, instead of actually putting in the script itself. Um, then also, um, one other thing we added recently, which you don't have to use, but you can use. Um, we're just kind of experimenting with it. Um, we've add, added some simple firmware, or uh, simple static code analysis um, for like JavaScript files using ESLint. Um, so anyway, so that is basically how it works. Um, you can go, like I said, you can go out to uh, GitHub, um, the instructions on there are pretty straightforward on how to use it. So anyway, so let's tr go ahead and <clears throat> do a little quick demo of it. So I've already downloaded the uh, FirmWalker master file or master folder, um, which is right here. And like I said, you can see it's got the readme, then there's the ESLint that has the rules for checking JavaScript files. There's a the FirmWalker dot sh file which is script file and then under the data folder you've got the different things that it searches for like here's uh, binaries that it'll search for like telnet busybox etc and like i mentioned the web servers apache light hpp light hcp um and so forth um then there's things like uh so like under SSS file, SSL files, there's like .pem, .crt. So those are certificate files that you might want to look at. So running the uh, actual scripts, um, you know, it's straightforward. It's like running any other script in uh, Linux. Um, so basically, we'll just open up a terminal window. And then we'll just go ahead and change the directory into the firm walker folder. Of course, then you can see the uh, firm walker firm walker .sh file. And then running it is uh, like I get like I said, it's simple enough. Uh, just uh, usually I read, like to run this as sudo because I have ran into once you extract the file system from the firmware, it'll be it'll be set as root or whatever. So you might want to. You probably don't always have to run it as sudo, but you can if you you can. I usually do. It doesn't really make much difference. Um, but you know, feel free to run it 
under whatever uh, permissions you want to feel comfortable running it under. Um, so sudo farmwalker.sh. Um, then the next thing we're going to, next argument we're going to put in there is actually the root file system. So we actually have a root file system right here on the desktop that we'll run this against. And then the next thing, so the next thing, the next argument you put in there is what you want to call the output file. So if you don't put anything in there, it'll actually just output as firmwalker.txt. Um, usually I put something in there and it makes it specific for what I, whatever I happen to be looking at. Uh, so in this case, we'll just simply call it uh, rootfs.txt. So once you've got that in there, uh, just simply run it. And you'll see it output to the screen here as it's going through um, the different um, grep commands, looking for the various things you've told it to look for. Um, depending on how big the file system is, um, sometimes it's really quick and the file system is not big. Sometimes if there's a lot in the file system, obviously it's going to take a little bit longer to sort through everything. Um, like I said, it's searching for right now, it's searching for like things like drop bear, um, things that are relevant to SSL. <clears throat> Um, now it's looking for IP addresses, URLs, um, email addresses, and so forth. And then, like I mentioned, in this case, I actually have the uh, static code analysis turned on. There's only a few rules in that thing right now. Um, like I said, feel free to use it or not to use it. It's kind of just an experiment. Um, but anyway, if there's like if there's .js files in the file system, JavaScript files, and it'll basically go through those JavaScript files and look for any issues with that. So that's basically it running against the file system. And then, like I said, it'll output a text file. Um, you can go over here, open up the text file. And it'll basically, it's all the same thing you just saw scroll across the screen. Um, and then it's got the various checks in here, um, you know, looking for private key, IP addresses, um, different binaries, like drop bear, et cetera. So basically, it just gives you a bit of a head start. Like I said, it gives you a head start instead of um, sifting through the file system by hand. Um, it just gives you a quick head start um, as far as things you might find interesting you want to look at. So, for example, if we scroll up here, so, you know, we've got some .pim files. That may be something really interesting we want to look at. Um, sometimes there'll be like an Etsy shadow file. So obviously you want to have a look at that and see if there's any, you know, uh, easily cracked passwords in there. Um, but also right now I've got it searching for Unix MD5 hashes. So obviously those are normally the ones you'd find inside the Etsy shadow file. So if it's, if it searches through those searches through the files and finds any of those kind of hashes. So not, but, um, for example, so like for the MD5 hashes, not only have I found them in the Etsy shadow file, they've all, I've also found them hard-coded in various other files, unfortunately. Um, then again, it's just uh, looking for various other things. Like I said, just to give you a quick head start on finding all the goodies inside a um, extracted firmware file. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, there'll be I'll do some more videos on this um, later on to kind of go past running firm walker and then you know see what other things you can find um, but in the meantime that's it um, like i said it's out there on github so have a look also feel free if you want to do any pull request add anything to it um, you know feel free uh, stick it out there and we'll have a look at it and see if we want to merge it in um, to the original firm walker so anyway uh, that's it and enjoy <laughs>